My name is Sean Fogarty and I'm here representing Castleton for Australian Operations and um, I'll just start by giving you a bit of a brief overview <coughs> of, of Castleton, our formation, um, who we are and um, what our presence is in Australia. So basically Castleton was established in 2014, a uh, UK based company that was basically built through a series of acquisitions. So basically there was a, a gap in the market, I suppose, in the UK in relation to being able to offer end-to-end -end solutions into the social housing sector. <coughs> so Carlson went out, established itself in 2014, and acquired best-of-breed software applications such as mobile solutions, CRM solutions, document management, housing and finance solutions, <coughs> so we could take to that sector an end-to-end -end solution. And so as part of that acquisition uh, process, it also identified Kaipera, which is where I started my working career, Kaipera, uh, which was a software provider, which provided housing and finance solutions into the social housing sector. They acquired us in 2016, and also went on to acquire Kinetic, which was another Australian-based software provider in 2017. Uh, in the UK, from a, a market perspective, um, about 60% of the housing associations in the, in the UK use at least one of our software providers, uh, use one of our software applications, and in Australia we have about 28 um, organisations in the community housing sector using our software applications. So the applications have been purpose-built or customised for the, the social housing sector, and um, we have been basically implementing in Australia, Kuiper into the marketplace in 2013 and Kinetic has also been in the marketplace for a significant period of time. Um, with the acquisition of those companies, it also brought together in Australia with the Kinetic team and the Kuipera team, a very strong team and a wealth of knowledge in social housing. So within the team that we have in Australia, it's not just about the technical knowledge, which we've brought together related to the applications, housing software and applications, it's also about the knowledge that we, we have internally in relation to housing. My background is in community housing prior to joining um, Castleton. So I worked for Mission Australia Housing out at Blacktown in Sydney and also I worked for the Department of Housing New South Wales and Parramatta. We also have our Director of Operations who previously worked as a COO for a large um, uh, community housing provider in Sydney and we also have consultants who have worked as tenancy managers um, within the social housing sector. I think from that perspective what it I think gives us and it was brought up before when it comes to implementations or understanding the needs of organisations, we've not only got that technical knowledge but we've got the knowledge of housing and what is happening for you on a day-to-day -day basis within your operations, not just at the higher level, not just at the management level, but also at the front line level. So hopefully with that kind of knowledge within the team, we've got the capacity to understand your needs and see whether our, our application is the right fit for you and that we're going to deliver the efficiencies and streamline your processes to, to provide outcomes for you and for your clients. Um, as I said, we've brought together two teams, so we've currently got 18 staff, including developers, three developers, um, across two, two offices, one in Newcastle and one in Sydney. We have customers that are tier one providers. We also have customers that are, that are smaller and regionally based. We've got customers across all five states. We've got quite a few in New South Wales. Um, and we are committed long-term to the sector here in Australia. And you know, our core business and our products are developed and customised for this sector. Um, okay, what do we offer? So I said before that we obviously have a number of software applications. I suppose our core uh, software application solution is an integrated housing and finance management solution. So we have built, customised a housing solution around Greentree which is a mild product. We've customised our housing solution around it, which basically means that we've got a housing and finance fully integrated housing solution. So one database, one source of truth on which the housing, housing solution is, is, is built. Um, <coughs> Green Tree, very robust system, well used, 12,000 users <coughs> using the Green Tree solution. So it's, it's got broad, broad appeal. Um, from a housing perspective, you know, we have worked closely with our customers and with the sector to basically 
build a solution that's going to meet the requirements of the sector. So, you know, from from those those core housing um, requirements, it handles waiting lists and allocations. So everything to do with applications for housing, uh, you know, the holding of documentation. So it goes on to tenancy, tenancy agreements. Um, uh, it looks at all the tenancy inspections. You might have, you know, your rent accounting, so all of your rent reviews, um, all of your arrears management, so stepping through an arrears process, so things like payment arrangements, uh, the different statuses that you might go through when you're collecting arrears uh, from your tenants, all the way from basically the start of tenancy through any kind of complaints handling, all the way, from, way through to termination and ends of tenancy. Uh, including all your vacancy management, your monitoring of your vacancy management, turnaround times, uh, all of your repairs and your works orders, your work requests. Uh, from a property and asset perspective, it's holding all of your property details and your property information, uh, all of your re re relation, all, your, all of your information in relation to your property life cycles are held within there as well, and so also in relation to leasehold management. So it's not just about you know, the properties that you may may own or manage, but it's also about those properties that you might go to the private rental market to lease. And within the system, you can handle all the landlord agreements, landlord details, payments to landlords straight out of the system. Uh, as I said, it's a finance, it has a finance system, so it's not just the housing component, it's integrated with the, the finance management, so all of your general ledger, all of your traditional finance, finance um, requirements are held within the Green Tree, Green Tree solution. Uh, it also has other modules beyond what I suppose you, you may be using as your core functionality within finance. So it also has things like HR and payroll. Mm -hmm. And it just depends on the organisation, your needs, you know, what modules you might look to in relation to the, the green tree, the core product. Uh, I mentioned before that we also have a, a document management offering as well, so an application. So it basically, it's called EDRM. So it was developed in conjunction with social housing organisations in the in the UK when it was originally built. So it's been built to handle, I suppose, the demands and the requirements of, of social housing organisations. So it allows you to, to centralise in a secure location all of your documentation uh, electronically. So you know, we've got 120 clients using that globally. So all of your scanned documents, it's integrated with Microsoft, so it's Microsoft documents, PDF files, you know, anything to do with any, any inspections you might have made, so any photos or videos you might have taken, you can load into the, the document management system. Um, it can deal with multiple business streams within your organisation, so you might want to deal with not just your housing, but you might want to have a finance repository for documents, you might want to have an HR. So whatever your different business streams are, you can hold different repositories for your different business streams within the document management system. So, and particularly with the way that I suppose in, you know, in recent times it's becoming more and more of a priority for organisations to ensure that they're securing data and they're protecting people's privacy. And you know, I know that when I worked in housing, we moved towards towards trip at that stage, but it's becoming more and more of an imperative to provide that that secure, centralised place for for documentation and data, not just from a customer service perspective, so that you make sure that you're holding tenants and clients, information uh, centrally, but also from that compliance perspective, so you make sure you're, you're adhering to um, protection, security, and compliance requirements. Uh, we also offer a mobile solution. And so, uh, yeah, and this is probably one of, one of our more popular, most popular, I suppose, applications, particularly in the UK, it's being rolled out here as well, is a, a mobile solution which basically gives your field workers or anyone that, that has to visit tenants or properties um, in the field, it gives them the, the capacity basically to access information that's holding you back off the system. So if they're out in the field and they're visiting a client or a customer and they want to have a look and see what, what kind of the rent situation they're in, whether they're in arrears or whether they're in credit, they've got access to all of that financial information. While they're on the site, they can also you know, if they see an issue while they're there in relation to a particular, <coughs> particular repair, they can log a repair request through the application. They can take photos and video while they're there using the application, so they can load them against against a particular repair request. Uh, it also 
has a, um, a repair history. So while you're there, you're going to look at the repair history of the site. It's also got a forms module. So basically, any forms that you might use in the field, whether it be you know a simple routine inspection form, or whether it be you know property survey form. So you know, change in household composition, the kind of forms that you'd use regularly when you're in the field. This gives your workers who are out there and your staff who are out there the ability to fill in that form through the through the, the device through the application while they're, they're on site, and they can you know, either e email it back as a PDF, or if you're or if you're using our, our housing solution, you can update in real time the uh, back office system with that particular data. Uh, it also has, that's the staff app, which provides that kind of functionality. It's also got a customer app associated with it as well, which basically gives self-service functionality to your tenants. Um, so they can basically go in through their mobile device, whether it be a phone or a, or a tablet, and they can, they can check their rent balance, they can check uh, their repair history, they can log a contact request or request a repair. So not log, not don't worry, don't not log a, a work order, but actually just request a repair. They can do that through the, the mobile solution. So it's about, you know, when I think about it, when I think about when I was working in housing, we talked about minimising the amount of contacts it takes to resolve issues with clients. So rather than having to go out multiple times to site to resolve an issue, if you've got access to all the information while you're there and you can handle multiple um, issues while you're on site, and it minimises your time to resolve and it also frees, frees you up to devote resources to, to where they're most needed. Uh, we also, as part of, I suppose, the, the Green Tree solution, which is your housing and finance core solution, we sit on top of that, what's called ClickView. So it's a data visualisation reporting tool. So it's a BI tool. And this is basically where we hold all of the regulatory reporting and all of, we've got a set of standard KPIs that when we when we use ClickView, we have a standard set of KPIs in relation to arrears, uh, turnaround times on, on vacancies, and other KPIs that have been identified by other organisations as, as being a benefit to them, but it also handles that regulatory reporting. So whether it be you know, your unit level reporting, whether it be the, the national regulatory reporting, all of that is configured in, in ClickView, and so, I know that we've talked, uh, Paula talked briefly about that AHO reporting. So anything to do with regulatory reporting, if that's a requirement, mm -hmm. so if it was AHO, we would configure that for you within within ClickView, and that would be rolled out as standard to any organisation that, that may, may progress with us. And when those change, so if they change, if AHO says, no, we've got a couple of different fields, we want to make some changes to it, then we would change those, and that is part of the maintenance agreement that you have with us. So there's no additional charge for changing those regulatory reporting reports. Uh, so, I suppose those applications and how they can how they can help and how they can assist you in the way that you do business. So, with the document management, the mobile application, the core housing and finance, basically it allows you to streamline your processes and so to, to cut down all the manual handling that you may be currently doing that's that's taking your staff away. Um, so they're doing all the admin work or or repetitive entry of admin work when they could be out of the field or addressing the high priority items. So basically, the Green Tree solution has, it's very strong on workflow. So a lot of tasks that are currently manual are automated. A lot of alerts and notifications, dashboards and desktops. So that people have, have immediate access and real time access to what might be sitting there, what, what might be sitting there as a task for them to action. <coughs> I've got immediate access to, to accurate data. Um, so if we look, so accurate data in relation to, you know, you might have a tenancy desktop or an asset desktop. So if you work in asset, assets, you've got a dashboard, which identifies what urgent repairs you might have. You know, it might identify vacancies. It might identify, you know, anything that's gone beyond its, beyond its uh, SLA will be on its priority date. So you've got access to that information so you know what needs to be acted on in real time. Tenancy, it might show, once again, arrears, arrange, arrears arrangements that have been broken. So you've got access to dashboards that allow you to, to, you know, to not have to go searching for information, you don't have to enter information, it's automatically there for you to address and deal with. Um, as I said, you know, it provides that accurate, secure and timely data. It's fully integrated, so there's one source of truth um, 
It also enables through what we've talked about, the mobile and the other, the other solutions, that ability to, to establish better communications with your tenants and your clients through SMSing, through the mobile application, through the self-service portal. So not only are you getting better outcomes for your organisation and for your end users, but you're also delivering a better service to, to your customers. Um, I just mentioned before that, so within, within the solution, so this would be, I suppose, it's just a standard tenancy desktop. Up there as an example, so you've got your arrears, you've got your vacants, wait list, any service requests. So from those dashboards, whether it be tenancy or assets, you can drill down directly and from there into the record that's associated to. Uh, just an, an asset one as well. <clears throat> so similar concept, vacant properties, outstanding works orders, any notifications or approvals that are required. So it basically automates all that stuff that might be done manually at the moment and gives visibility to workers of what they need to address. Um, so I know that um, part of that checklist that, that's been sent out for you to fill in, I know that it mentions about implementations and support and what we've tried to do, hopefully when we've gone through uh, the presentations, address some of those items that are on that checklist. So from an implementation perspective, what technology you need? Well, the model that we've put together to deliver to the sector is a hosted solution. So you don't need to invest in technology, so you don't need to invest in servers and another hardware infrastructure because it's a hosted solution. Um, the implementa implementation Excuse method. Me, Sean, yep. Just a hosted solution, does everyone know what a hosted solution is? Yeah, you could have an internet connection. Okay, okay. Sean, do you want to just mention that a little bit? Yeah, so basically means that we use a, a data centre um, here, here in Australia, and that's where your information is hosted. That's where the software is hosted, basically. So you don't have to, with software, it can be implemented on premises, which means it's uh, applied on premises. With this, it's held, held externally, so you don't have to worry about any infrastructure if you host, because it's hosted. So, the purchase is that an outright purchase of the software, or is it a sub sub subscription? As part of this model, what we've looked at doing is putting together a, sub a subscription model. So, Good question. so what's the annual subscription? That would depend. Pay? It would depend on a you know, number of users and number of properties. So, I think what we would do, like after this, when we sit down. Um, for those who looks like there might be a fit between us and them, we get a bit of an idea of what your, what your organisation look like, looks like, what your needs are, um, and then put together a bit of a pricing. Okay. Um, you, mentioned, you mentioned in the uh, document section that it um, accepts other facets of the business. Yep. Does the financial side of it do that as well? Like, is, Because um, housing is a very small part of what we do. Yep. Um, and everything we have to manually import, basically manually entry into our current mile system to make it work. Yep. I'm not interested in taking something from a management system and manually importing it into my mile system so I've got reporting to the board that look at all of it, not just the housing separately. Does it have the capability of doing that? So the, the green tree solution is a full fine solution. So yep. if you, it would, if you're looking to, to implement it, it would be replacing your existing model. Yep, okay. No, that yep. was fine. I wasn't sure when you said yeah, it was yeah. a, a built on that. I wasn't sure no, whether no. it was its own thing. Yes, yeah, so, so it, it forms okay. the spine, basically, of, of the solution. And the other part is, is we mm -hmm. currently have two tenancy managers, so two different areas, so um, send us reports. Those reports have to manually import, put into the system. Um, is there a way that that can be imported from an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file or a PDF file to save me having to manually import the admin having to manually import that when they are on? What kind of data is on? Is it a housing data or is it's it housing data? data? Yeah, so you should be to, is it to do with works orders and Well one of it's the, the housing reports, the other yeah. is our our monthly statements on when rent's being paid and all that sort of thing. That may be something you can do on the one-on-one -on -one in terms of your business scope and, and you know what your what your business needs are. So we'll just keep going with the presentation and then yeah, certainly 
and Chintara and um, SDM is going to be um, doing a similar presentation and there's going to be that sort of stuff you can ask on the one-on-one, -on -one, which is the best thing. But yeah, certainly um, it's about you know, exporting and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, having one central place where it can print out a whole heap of um, one report with a whole heap for the different, different groups. Uh, we'll just keep going. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. We're running out of time as well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so basically, we're making the implementations. Well, we um, basically we've had a lot of experience in implementations, as have Shintara and SDM. We've implemented with a lot of organisations in the community housing sector, and we've certainly found from our experience that the, the key is, and it's brought up earlier, it's about <coughs> it's about getting the front end of the project right. <coughs> Sorry. So it's about understanding your business needs, your requirements at the beginning of the project. So we know what you need and you know what, what we're delivering. And so getting all that right at the very beginning of the project to create a smooth, smooth implementation. Um, we basically have, as well as that implementation, I know we talked about training and that was brought up earlier, so there's different delivery methods in relation to training. Um, we can look at group training sessions, we can look at WebEx, we can look at other, other methods of delivery in relation to regional, regional organisations if required. We've also got a bit of a knowledge sharing platform, an online collaboration platform that we've set up where we can basically, our customers can collaborate with each other, they can ask questions of each other, they can ask questions of us in relation to best practice using software. Uh, we're going to build it further in relation to, to creating a, turning it into a full knowledge base for, for frequently asked questions. Um, more than happy as well if we start to progress in relation to our project experience to, to pass on reference details of organisations that are using our software that we've implemented. Uh, in relation to value for money, <coughs> what we have done with the model that we're putting forward to to the um, to the organisations here is we've we've looking to implement a standard off-the-shelf integrated social housing solution. So that would be you know, your your housing, your finance off the shelf, you basically have the same solution that larger organisations get, but without customisation. So customisation is where, I suppose, when the, where a lot of the costs come, a lot of the costs that the uh, larger organisations um, end up paying is to customise it, to be very bespoke for what their needs are. So by offering a standard solution, it means that you get much better value for money. Uh, as I said before, it's a hosted model, so that cuts down on, on costs and delivers value to you, because um, you don't have to, you don't have to have the hardware purchase costs or operational costs. Uh, you don't have the upgrade issues, or the upgrade costs, because that just happens in the background in relation to the, the software or your hardware. Um, you know, we've looked at putting together a subscription-based uh, model, so you don't have to necessarily worry about large um, upfront capex costs. That's something you're, you're trying to, to minimise. Um, you know, Green Tree is also a modular system, so some organisations might need a lot of modules, some might be less, so it allows that kind of flexibility. Uh, to deliver cost efficiencies. Um, as I said, regulatory reporting, if there's changes to that, that's covered within your maintenance agreement and that's um, delivered free of charge as part of the standard solution. Uh, so where are we going as an organisation? So we definitely see the future uh, as, as a digital future. So um, self-service, mobile applications, we're certainly focusing, focusing a lot of time and effort on that. Uh, we will continue to develop our products to enhance and transform the way that you do business, we put a, both both my lab and ourselves with our products, put a lot of a lot of time and resource into further developing the products for the sector, so specifically for the, the community housing sector. Um, we also are looking, obviously, we've got a, a, a strong presence in social housing. We're also looking for complementary um, kind of a, a, within the not-for-profit sector to build verticals, to build customer bases in in aligned kind of business operations, whether it be aged care, NDIS, wherever it looks like we might be able to add benefit and add value. We're looking to grow the software and our offering into the, those spaces. Um, also looking to, to con continue to build strong relationships with the reg regulatory bodies, whether it be at, at state, federal level. And um, in doing that, to be better informed, to advise you, and to deliver outcomes and solutions to, to the sector. Um, that software procurement checklist that Paul mentioned before, that you've all got in your hands, hopefully we've addressed 
a number of those items on there. Um, if it is a situation where it looks like we're a good fit for you, um, then more than happy to send responses back to you on, on those items, so to, to complete it and send it through you. Um, and that's it, because I think I'm running out of time. Any questions? I would Next. like to mention one last thing. Yep. You mentioned subscription, so it wasn't a huge upfront capital cost. Mm -hmm. For small providers like myself and the Hunter Valley Outcorp and a number of others in this room, <coughs> that upfront cost hopefully will be covered by the grant. The subscription cost will be an ongoing drain on our resources mm -hmm. and therefore mm -hmm. increase our rents over time. Yep. So for me, a subscription base is not what I'm looking for. Yeah. So that's something we look at. There's flexibility there. So we have, we have organisations that are on subscription based model, we have organisations that aren't. So it depends on what the needs of the organisation are, uh, is financially. And also in your application for an IT grant you can factor in the fact that it's going to be ongoing subs subs subscription costs as well, so that way it's sort of budgeted to be released during subscription cost times. Thanks Jim. Excellent. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thanks Sean. Thank Appreciate you. that. Thank you.